Jean No, I never knew you at all You had the grace to hold yourself But those around you crawl They crawl out of the woodwork And they whispered into your brain They set you on the trail Hey! Welcome to Nancy Pop, I'm your host Mike, followed by my co-host Nemo And it's a wicked podcast, we talk about film, TV, and any of the random things that And you watch, I like mine, starting off with uh, Starting off with a sad note Elton John's Candle in the Wind it's a, it's a very hard week, we lost an angel, a beautiful angel this week Her name is Dakota Sky, uh, porn star, legend, 27 she was 27? She was 27. That's like a uh, 60-year-old in porn star years, dude. Really? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's lucky she lived that long. Like, porn stars nowadays, they literally... We watched a video of porn stars who died before they were 30. <laughs> like, before they were like 22. They were like 22, 27, 20... Like, oh my God. It's horrible, man. But I... Man. I, she was... Gore- I, I, I'm not even gonna lie. I jerked off to her so many fucking times in my life. She's just gorgeous. She's beautiful. And she's got a little mitt hanging, that, which means she's probably fucking since she was like 12. But that's the thing, though. It's like most porn stars. Uh, the, the, the report says that a California resident, whose real name is Lauren K. Scott, was discovered dead in her Los Angeles motorhome uh, by her unnamed husband, an unnamed husband, who identified the body authorities in Tampa Bay, Florida. All right, right there, Florida. Native, uh, came from a family of history of addiction and sexual abuse and all that stuff. So, yeah. She was destined to be a porn star. Uh, it was in stars. You uh, Have you ever uh, looked at uh, any of Dakota Sky's porn? Uh-uh. Really? Not even after she died. I saw it last weekend, though. Yeah, your brothers and your brother and Rick didn't know who she was either. Man, she literally just flashed. This is her at the George Floyd Memorial. She flashed it on her Instagram, and uh, people were giving her shit about, "Oh, you're disrespecting." But it's like you know, she's a porn star. It's like that's her thing. So she's just gonna show her tits. R.I.P. Or you know, George Floyd. I don't know. I thought she was just kind of bringing attention to the mural. Yeah, that and uh, you know. Porn star it's to porn it's star. It's all part of your George perspective, Floyd. I guess, right? George Floyd was in a porno. Porn star to porn star. It's <laughs> just giving respect. <laughs> but still, man. Like, And then a lot of people are saying, like, oh, she OD'd because uh, people bullying her online about the George Floyd thing. And I'm like, you know what? You guys are giving George Floyd too much credit. She was just a junkie whore who ended up just fucking, uh, you know. Said she was homeless, shit. but they were like, people yeah. were like, but they found her in her home. <laughs> Yeah, like, are you home. homeless? If you're... But it could have been just like a home where she drives it. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. like a motorized home. That's what I think. I think that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad. It's. It, I mean, it's fucked up because, like, you know, when when you listen to porn stars and shit like that, and it's like they're hot and all that stuff. But then it's like when you're watching porn, there's shit underneath it. Like somebody fucked with them when they were like like a kid like an uncle or a dad or a stepdad or a cousin or a brother like somebody fucked like fucked them up pretty fucked up and nobody wants to talk about that in the porn industry and the chicks that want to come out that want to talk about the porn industry talk about how empowering it is and all that shit it's like no it's not you're fucking lying (laughs) you're a fucking goddamn liar um but she but this is the fucked up thing she died almost exactly two years after her mother and baby sister death of the same thing, an overdose. That whole family was fucked up. Her aunt said Lauren was a product of a highly dysfunctional family involving drugs, alcohol, physical, emotional, verbal, and sexual abuse. That's like every porn star ever. Oh, well, I mean now. Like every chick you see in like... Because that's what they do. They get like chicks like 18 and they fucking... And it's in Florida. Like, most of the garbage fucking chicks, they go to Florida because that's where the guys are. I don't. I think they don't have no condom laws down there either Mm -hmm. when they do porn. So, um, yeah. And then there's, like, a whole documentary, Hot Girls Wanted, on Netflix and shit like that where you just see, like, porn stars, like, young girls, dumb, who want to do porn for the first time and they do it. 
and then they're just ashamed of themselves after they do it and they get the money and shit like that. Some of them kill themselves sometimes. Hmm. It's fucked up, dude. And it all has to do with shit in the family. It happened before that. I don't know. It's fucked up, man. I don't know how people can do that to their kids, man. And then we got chicks here that are just, quote, escorts. Yeah, I know. Who probably were escorted to their uncle's or stepdad's room (laughs) when they were children. (laughs) Any sex worker has some kind of fucking weird sexual history. It has to, because, like, that's your last resort. I'm just going to fuck my way through everything. I wish I could. I wish I could. But it's not like that for men like us. (laughs) (laughs) We're like a fine wine. We're very rarity. But yeah, you've never seen any of her stuff, man. Correct. Mm. She, I mean, this is her, like, this has to be like her first one, dude. Because uh, she has no tattoos. She's basically like, yeah, because as it goes on, she has, ta- you could see the, as her porn career goes forward, you could see the downgrade of her face and she gets chubbier and she gets more tattoos and stuff like that. But she was so dumb, stupid hot. Like, she was so tiny. Yeah, and she made every dude's dick look like they're fucking humongous. That's why it was hot. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your name? Dakota. Dakota. Uh, where are you from, Dakota? Florida. Florida. <laughs> Florida trash. So, what's about the come fiesta? Jesus. Some of my girlfriends. Yeah, what they say? They said nineteen. Nineteen. Per- oh, nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very, Very nice. nice. He's just doing like doing quotes from TV toy. shows. <laughs> uh, and Borat and Naz. Wow, those titties are so nice, by the way. What size are those titties? 32B. 32B, huh? Mm-hmm. I like B's. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. You're funny. <laughs> <love. laughs> I like B's. <laughs> Hold on, let's fast forward to the cock sucking. Look at that. She can make any dick look like it's fucking huge because she's so tiny. R.I.P. To a fallen angel. That beautiful, beautiful angel. Any thoughts, Nemo? You don't want, you don't, you don't follow poor stars or anything. No, not really. No. I probably never would have even known that unless it, like, but it came across my Facebook feed. I bet you're going to jerk off to her now. A dead, you're like, oh yeah, I know you're fucking ending, you dumb whore. To her dead, pil- to her dead photos. No, I mean to her now. Oh, I mean, I'm not even gonna lie. I jerked when I found her. I jerked you off watched to her. it. Yeah, I, I watched the poor. I, in remember, in remembrance of her. That's why I did it. In a memorial. Cause uh, I'm not even gonna lie. I've jerked off to her so many times, especially when I worked at the porn shop and stuff like that. Yeah, dude, she was, was she a popular one there? Oh yeah, dude. She was young. She was like eight. She started off like eighteen. Like as soon as she turned eighteen, she was like, "Bam, I am fucking for money, dude." And she had a good run. Be so nice if I could. And then fucking oh, dude, this is sad. You're sad. No, I mean, this is, someone made a fucking uh, tribute, on, <laughs> and it's her singing through the whole thing. What the fuck? Two, one, action. Hi, I'm Dakota Sky. You're just she looks hotter to me doing that shit. I know, but I'm just saying, she literally is just, it's her fucking tweaked out of her mind doing a hula hoop on fucking Instagram or whatever it is. She was just a drug addict. It's sad. That's her singing for the people at home. Yeah, check it out. It's a YouTube. It's a tribute to just go to skies. It's her doing hula hoop tricks. Basically, she's tweaked out of her fucking mind. And she's just doing hula hoop stuff. And singing. Alright, 94? Jesus, she was born in 94? Yeah. That would be 27. I was 10 when she was born. Ooh. 
And you were how old when you first masturbated to her? Like 20 something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> R.I.P. Man. Gone but not forgotten. Dakota mm-hmm. Sky. Um, and speaking of your little porn star. Yeah. I was at my mom's earlier and they were watching Girl Next Door. Ooh, I love that movie. She's still hot to this day. I know. Elisha cut cut yeah. through or cover because she was in uh the ranch oh yes 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 dude i have jerked off to her multiple times as well when i was in high school god man she was so hot in it and my man crush was in that fucking movie timothy oliphant he, yeah, he the was punk a producer. rocker producer ex-boyfriend yeah. i love his acting dude there were quite a bit of people in this he's actually so cool isn't he like when he's yeah. like look like i like fucking doing fucking shit like yeah. just random fucking <laughs> I like doing it. it. Makes me feel like I'm normal and shit. Because <laughs> the main kid's like an actor now, isn't he? Uh, yeah, Emil Hirsch. Yeah, of course. All right, you all have this graph. Correct? God, it's a pretty good ass movie too. Honestly, I know it was a it was a fucking cool fucking. It was like a throwback to like '80s raunchy like fucking. It was like a risky business with Tom Cruise, but you never saw that movie. Correct. Where Tom Cruise uh, hooks up with a fucking prostitute and ends up running a fucking prostitution ring out of his house when his parents are gone out of town. <laughs> <laughs> never knew that's what the fucking movie was about. I just know the one scene when he's sliding around or whatever. Dun, 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 dun. That's when, he fu- when they first leave. Dun, 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 dun. And it ain't about make yourself the shelf. But yeah, it was kind of like that. It was like a risky business American Pie-ish type movie. I enjoyed this film a lot, man. And this song. Thank up my name. God, she's dumb. And I was a fan of her because of uh, she was in 24. She was the daughter of Jack Bauer oh, in 24. Okay. So I already knew who she was. And Paul Dano, a young Paul Dano, who's going to be the Riddler in the new Batman movie. I don't even know who he was. I remember we the talked about The dude that him. we just saw in the picture. Yeah, the nerdy again. with the glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the one that had the big dick that had the fucking... The big dick? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I feel like a newborn. <laughs> God, she's stupid hot, dude. Anybody who's listening to this, check this fucking movie out. The Girl Next Door is fucking great. Great comedy, great story, and a super fucking hot chick, man. Who you just wish she would get naked through the whole fucking movie. You're like, just don't. She's in lingerie, she's in bras. You're just like, for God's sake, show one titty or something. Everyone else's. That's Sam Young Sam. What? He's this complete. What happened? Oh, I don't know. I didn't like hear myself. Oh, I'm sorry. I was turning on the wrong one. <laughs> sorry. But you know, I mean. But yeah, uh, I was gonna say everyone else was fucking showing tits left and right. No, oh, I know. Cause they were actual porn stars. And the fuck, you remember the 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 porn he put in, and it was like an Asian. He was like, "Oh, you want to fight my mom?" <laughs> like he was like some fucking kung fu master. That dude's an actual porn star. Cause I've seen him in fucking movies, dude. Because, like, they actually use actual porn stars. So I was like, oh, I fucking know who that person is. I've seen their porn. Mm-hmm. And, uh, man, that's when I fell in love with Timothy Elephant, dude. I'm not even going to lie. I'm, 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 I'm not even going to lie. Jerk about, it to him, too? No, no, no I'm not going to jerk off to him. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> if I got around him, I'd just be, like, this bubbling girl, like, just <laughs> sitting, like, mm. Yeah, tell me more. Like, how is that? <laughs> like, well, was it uh, Step Brothers? The dad from Step Brothers? When the when the other brother came over and he was like, "I caught." A oh fish. yeah. <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, what?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. Dude, there's a great movie um, that he's in uh, called The Perfect Getaway. It's on Hulu. Check it out, dude. It's only an hour and thirty minutes. Mila Jovovich, Steven Zan. Timothy Oliphant, Chris Hemsworth, and uh, Jamie something, not Jamie King, not the chick from uh, Black Summer, but uh, some other hot chick. 
But uh, it's it's like a murder mystery type fucking thing, dude. It's fucking great, dude. You got to check a it out. A perfect getaway. A perfect getaway, dude. Check it out. It's only 90 minutes, I think. Is Snowden a good movie? Huh? Snowden. Was that a good movie? I never watched it. Oh, okay. I know that's on Netflix, and I like... I never watched it because I, I read everything about Snowden, and I, and then I saw Oliver Stone, and Oliver Stone kind of just puts everything one way sometimes uh-uh. when he makes movies, so I was just like, yeah, I don't know. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. I just like Joseph Gordon love it, so... Oh, yeah, of I was course. I check it out eventually. Of course, just... And I see that Timothy Oliphant is a CIA agent in it. <sighs> that is my man crush, dude. Yes. Justified. Oh my god! You drool every time we talk about him. I know, right? Well, you don't have a man crush, like no. a guy that you saw, you would just like just gush over, like you just. I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I get it. I really know. If I was gonna go gay, it'd be for that dude. Not really, no. No, I don't think so. I'm not saying actual gay. I'm just saying like, <laughs> like like somebody you're like, bro, dude. That's my fucking. I'm not saying I actually want to fuck the dude. I'm just saying it's like it's a dude. I'm like, oh man, I want to know this guy. I want to hang out with this dude. I want to hang out with this dude. <laughs> I want to. I want to be like George when uh, when George uh, was trying to hang out with Elaine's cool boyfriend. He's just so cool, and he just turns his hat around like he's sitting around like he's just trying to he's trying to impress him. That's pretty much what I would be doing. You don't have a you don't have a guy that would you uh, like a famous dude or somebody you would do that to. No, not anybody? Really. Nobody really comes to mind. Like no. a wrestler? Anybody? No. Like if the Undertaker came in, you wouldn't want to ask him questions about anything. I mean, if anyone came in, I'd want to ask him questions about <laughs> anything. <laughs> Undertaker, why are you in Toledo? <laughs> First <laughs> question. <laughs> and in my room. <laughs> what, Mike? You didn't tell me we had him for the podcast today. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and then I figured you would have. Something about Greenland 2 or whatever in our agenda today. Yeah, so yeah. I watched the first one. Oh, you did? Yeah. Because it was okay. on HBO Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say that when we got there and I got the clip, but I'll pull them up right now. Hold on. What'd you think of it? I liked it. It was a pretty solid movie. I don't know. I told you it was more of a realistic, apocalyptic type oh, yeah. movie. That's, that's what they would probably do is like gather everyone they would need to rebuild. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was like, and then you actually saw like, uh, how people would like you feel how people would actually react of like like when, especially when you got the call the the little um hold on, let me get and it. then you got the racist ass dude in the truck he said where are you from yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh my god she is so fucking dumb hot dude oh, yeah, oh my god they're just a two beautiful couple <laughs> Gerard Butler and her. That's what I'm saying. Like, when he gets the text and everything, he's like, well, why are you getting the text? And why aren't we? Take us with you. Take us with you. It's like. Maybe, maybe the message is on our TV at home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. It does go on his TV. So everybody sees it. You gotta go talk to your mom for a second. Oh, man, dude. Where's the bear one? It's in the car. Listen, I just got one of those presidential alerts. He cheated on her. No. How the fuck could he cheat on her, for fuck's sake? They were going through a rough time. That woman must be a fucking bombshell. She must be a, it must be Alicia Cuthbert, or whatever fucking cut, whatever, the chick from Girl Next Door. Because she is stupid hot, dude. There's no way I would ever cheat on her. She would cheat on me, but <laughs> I would never cheat on her. It's okay, I forgive you. I know. Come to me, baby. <laughs> So, uh, what would you think of the whole the whole movie? Like, the realism, the whole, like... I always wonder if they'd, have, like, shit like that when asteroids and stuff pass. It'd be like, I mean, you ever just wonder if they just get the distance and timing all wrong? Oh, it happens all the time, dude. <laughs> like, like, that's what, that's, a, that's a scary thing. Like, dude, they can do it, like, that's the scary thing about this, dude. A comic can hit us any time, dude. And we can't do anything about it. Blow it up. There's no way, dude. <laughs> There's no way. I mean, did you watch Armageddon? No. <laughs> I did not. The whole firecracker scene? If you put a firecracker, why can't we just put a nuke on it? Because you put a firecracker right there, you just leave a mark. You have to put it inside, because if you put a firecracker and you pull your hand like this, boom, your whole hand goes. So you would have to drill it inside. So you have to do a whole Armageddon thing. <laughs> I don't want to close your eyes. 
I don't wanna find a sleep. I almost feel like that would be a lot more impactful. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking a glass. Sound barriers. Yeah, like, like, dude, that'd be so awkward too. Like you're the news person, be like, uh, so yeah, Tampa Bay's gone. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. So my bad. It did not hit the water. <laughs> we were way off. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, and that's the thing too, dude. If like meters hit, like there would be no way we could predict where they're gonna fucking land, dude. They're just—it's eventually gonna happen. It's gonna suck, dude. I just hope it doesn't happen when we're alive. That's all. Or my kids, because that would be scary as fuck, dude. What would you do if you knew a meteor was hitting the Earth? What would you do? Nothing you can do. No, but like literally, what would you think you would do? I would get so. Bl I would do every kind of fucking drug. I'd be like, all right, let's do crack. I never done crack before. <laughs> I'll do okay. cocaine. You're sitting there about to die and shit, and they're like, "Good news, guys! It barely just missed Earth." I just got a star right. maps. So let's go fuck Char Scarlett Johansson and then go to Charlie Theron after this. <laughs> She's just trying to rape every celebrity he can come into. Dude, do you know how many dudes would be doing that? It'll be mobs of dudes going after fucking movie stars, dude. Yeah, dude, this scene earlier is like, and they're like, maybe it's at our TV. You fucking dumb pieces of shit. Hit him with the, yeah, I don't think that's true. Yeah, sure, Craig. Why don't you go fucking to your house? You fucking work at goddamn Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, I enjoyed the movie. When I talked about it last time, I was like, yeah, it's, it felt more like a, a realistic end of days movie when it, instead of like, you know, Armageddon or Deep Impact yeah. or like a fucking special effect extravaganza and shit like that. <laughs> That was probably like the most special effects they used in the whole movie was that comet shower right there. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> Because the guy who directed this movie, he does more of, like, dramatic films and stuff like that. Like, uh, was it Snitch? I think that rock movie where he literally was no say, action. I was going to say Gerard Butler isn't exactly known for more dramatic either. Uh, well, he w he is, but now he's more of, like, an action star now. But uh, he, he used to be, like, a, you know, a theater guy and shit like that. I just love how, like, the news gives no fucks in this now. You're like, yeah, we're just going to show you every death possible. Yeah, exactly. It's like, this is what's happening. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and I wish the news was actually like that, but the news is all like... PC trying to keep everyone calm. Yeah, no, but th that's the thing, though. If an actual fucking comet was actually going to hit the Earth, I believe the government will not tell us because it would be pandemonium. They would literally wait to the end and everybody would just die <laughs> living their lives. And the government would secretly be moving people to somewhere or whatever. And we're watching the scene from Greenland. Jeez. So I don't know what a sequel is going to be about, though. Is it, oh, it rebuilding? Rebuilding the whole world? Or is there another storm coming? Or it was just like, oh, that was just debris coming from... I believe that's what they said, though. It was like all these little comments were just debris coming from the asteroid. It was, they were following, like, yeah. An asteroid. So maybe the next one is actually the asteroid coming? No, the asteroid hit or whatever. Oh, yeah, that yeah, That was yeah, the yeah. planet killer. Yeah, 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 the planet killer. But then, yeah, it's just going to be them rebuilding everything. I thought, like, since like, an asteroid happened, there was, like, a fallout or something. But, no, apparently it does. that doesn't happen when an asteroid hits. What do you mean? Like a fallout, like it, like when a nuke goes off or something. Like it something. was nine months later is when they opened the thing. Yeah, I know, but still nine months later. Yeah, I don't know. That's gonna get rid of like radiation. And they said there was zero radiation. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how there was a bird. I know. Well, the eggs survived. Yeah, but still, it's more of the realistic uh, end of days movies. Went back to save that person. Yeah, I know. Mm. Anywho, but yeah, what'd you say? So you th you liked it though? Yeah, 
overall. I'll check out the second one. Oh, yeah, I definitely will. They're coming back. Both of them. So, spoiler alert, they live. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but if you just finished the movie. <laughs> but, yeah, I remember watching this like a year before it even came out. Oh, yeah, because it was COVID, on that huh? site. Yeah, because it was supposed to come out, but then they released it overseas, and I saw it on that movie site. And then they actually released it a year later. Almost a year later. So, yeah. I mean, I liked the movie. I thought it was cool. All the army people are just volunteering. <laughs> Could you say, yeah, can I volunteer in the Bucker place? <laughs> I want to be in there. <laughs> uh, what? What? Did the uh, did it did, did, did it have anything? No, it just said they were coming back. Oh, okay. I was just looking to see if there was a same anything. director, or they didn't say it. I believe so. I believe the same director is nice. coming back. Uh, 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 uh. Anyways, how was your? Uh, did you ever call that chick? No, she was busy last night. I met her out. Well, oh, she had to work this So morning. you did talk to her again. Yeah. Sweet. This motherfucker, I'll just give a little insight um, to the E&T e &T pop fans. I actually forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nemo texts me at like, what is it, like one, it two? like three in the morning. Three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. This drunk ass milf definitely invited me to her house. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I was like, sweet, dude. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> but then she changed her mind. And then she changed her mind as she was walking to the <laughs> As we were like walking out, kind of, yeah. Because <laughs> she said something, and then I was like, just remember, it's always a joke, unless you're serious. And she was like, who says I'm joking? And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, just to myself, I'm like, oh. She, she's been like, all right. go for this? Yeah, let's do it. And then, yeah, and then she was, I was like, so am I just following you home? And stuff or whatever. Talking and then she was just like, no, not tonight. You're going home. I'm going home. But you have my number, right? Mm. You didn't buy her drinks, did you? What? You didn't buy her drinks, did you? One, yeah. One? Or two. I don't know. One or two. Oh, man. She was already a little bit tipsy. Mm. <laughs> and then you were like, I got the message I know. here, dude. That's, that's why I led to it. Like, that's why I stopped when she said, but you have my number, She right? was 31 and fine as fuck, man. I have her number, but god damn, I wrote down the wrong number. No, I, I said I didn't make sure if it was or not, because like, like, she was a little tipsy. She was like, I just got a new number, but it's... um, <laughs> Seems like we're good. Yeah. Seems well, at like, least you're in contact with her still. Yeah. So, you're still in the door. Your foot's in the door, buddy. Yep. Nice. It's closer than anything I've ever gotten to. <laughs> yeah, she was like short, big tits. Nice, dude. I don't know. We'll see. She's 31, you yeah. said? Nice. We'll see. I'll hit her up next week. Are you going to hang out with her again? I don't know. I'll hit her. I don't know. What do you mean? Miss her. Her. Q? Yeah. She was there with some other dude who ended up just like blowing her off and hanging out with his friends when they ended up showing up. No, oh, yeah? And then she was just at the bar by herself. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was like a whole story behind it all and then, yeah. Dude, I, when she I was She explained work, Kino to me, which I knew how to play, but I was just going with it. I have no it idea how to play Kino. It was the only way to initiate conversation, I guess. The hell is Kino? Is it like bingo, <clears throat> basically? Pick number, yeah, basically. It's just bingo. Pretty right. much, yeah. Right. But, uh, yeah, I'm, the dude, I was at work, was it the other day? This uh, girl who works at Speedway, she's hot, though. Uh, she's like, this dude just came. When I went to go check out, she's looking around like, what's going on? She's like, this dude just came up to me and, like, handed me a tissue and walked away. And I open up, and I think it's crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was like, What? Yeah, because he came in earlier, and I told him I was dragging, and I was, like, so tired and stuff like that. He came, and I remember, I, I was like, is it the dude that was walking around, like, in circles around the whole store? Because that's, I walked in, you can tell, you can tell what a fucking meth head or a pill head. You can see in their face and eyes. 
but uh, he was just like circling the whole thing, and I'm just like trying to find something to eat for lunch when I'm at work. <laughs> and then he leaves, and I go up, and she's just like, "The dude just handed me crystal meth." <laughs> it's like just flush it or call the cops. I'm like, and she was like, "I'm t- I was used I used to be an and she gave me her whole life story about she used to be an addict." And so I was like, "Just throw it away. <laughs> like, don't I don't." Don't give me. Some, she's. I don't. I don't know if she smoked it or not. But it, you go in. Just smoke it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's fine though. I mean, she was. She had brown hair. She was hot, but she had blonde brown hair, and you know she had dirt underneath her fingernails, and it's kind of a turn off when you see that. It's gross. It's like take a bath, bitch. And then like. One day she just dyed her hair blonde. And put on a red shirt and her pulled her tits out. It was like this. And she, I was like, I thought it was a different person mm-hmm. when I went inside. It was like, Jesus Christ. She's a fucking bombshell. She was hot, dude. But, uh, yeah, crystal meth. It's mm-hmm. fucking, that was hilarious. <laughs> she was just like, hand me a tissue full of crystal meth. <laughs> like, that was going to keep me up all night. <laughs> oh, man. That was Should hilarious. Should have been like, sell it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Oh my god! I was like that, or just flush it down the fucking toilet. Cause she kept telling me how much her, she used to be an addict. She just stopped and blah blah blah, and was like, I don't know if she's trying to talk herself into doing it or talk <laughs> herself out of doing it. I don't know. <laughs> Damn it, Mike! You're supposed to take it from her and be the hero. No, I can be a hero, baby. Exactly. <laughs> Why didn't that song start playing in your mind and you just be like, just I can you. take away the pain. <laughs> See, it's perfect. <laughs> You can take my breath away. <laughs> <laughs> See, you should take it from her, throw it away for her. God damn. No, because, like, I don't know. She's younger, though. She's, like, 21. I don't know, something like that. So? I feel like an old creep when I try to hit on somebody who's in their 20s. <laughs> it's gross. Age is just a number. Yeah, but then, I don't know. I just feel like a creep. I don't know. Try not giving a fuck. Uh, maybe if I didn't have kids and a soul and realize what other people feel like, yeah, I would do that. <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> but I have a conscience and I can't do shit like that, man. Like take advantage of fucking. I could uh, in my early twenties, but who's that? Take advantage? What is wrong with you? Of a chick <clears throat> who's an addict. She's and not like, anymore. You know damn well that bitch is going to fall back into that shit. Yeah, because people like you don't help her stay on the path. <laughs> no, dude. What, the next day I came in, though. She, she was dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> she was she was junked out behind the, corn, the, the counter. <laughs> no, no. There was like some weird little Puerto Rican dude just like sitting off to the side. <laughs> like, I don't know if it was like her friend, boyfriend or something. The next day he was just like. And I remember I was standing in line, and you know how you can feel somebody staring at you? Mm-hmm. Like, in the peripheral, like, you can, look like, see their head turning towards you and just staring at you? He was just staring at me the whole time. And then I, when I went to go look at him, he did the whole... Look I wasn't his, looking at you. Yeah, I know. Like, he whipped his head down to his phone. Like, for real, dude. Oh, my God, dude. If only you could fight. I know, man. <laughs> Dude, lift this whole bed stuff. I didn't have to debunk anything yesterday. <clears throat> Thank God. Because uh, I was debunking all week, dude. <laughs> These beds are... But the whole thing about it is my arms look sick, though. Look at that. <laughs> look at that shit, dude. I look sick. Oh, yeah. You see veins and stuff, dude? <laughs> Be careful. Don't pop a blood vessel. <laughs> you want to feel this, dude? Feel it. Feel the muscle. Come on, stop being a fucking queer and fear my muscle, dude. No. Why are you being gay, dude? No. <laughs> Just to feel my goddamn bicep, dude. <laughs> Why are you being a queer? Feel my bicep, bag. You're like so proud. <laughs> <laughs> no, feel it. This is the most workout I've ever had. I was going to say, you get tired of holding it? <laughs> no. Come on. I'm not even holding it. That's the fucked up thing, right? Start doing some push-ups every night. I still I got a fucking gut, but my arms look sick though. <laughs> and my calves. <laughs> Just gotta lose this little pudge in my stomach. These bitch tits. 
Anywho, um, the fuck were we talking about? I don't know how you went down that rabbit hole. Uh, oh, weird. No, the chicken. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, anyways, I Carly. You didn't watch I Carly? Yeah, I did. I ended up watching the first one. Just the first one? Yeah, because I saw that you posted that I Carly came yeah. out, so I figured I'd watch the first one just so. You didn't watch the other two? No, I was a good host. A co-host, and I watched the first episode so we can talk about it. But a great co-host would have watched all three. Dude, I had shit to do, Don't dude. Worry. I was breaking down bits. I was, no, I watched it on my break, dude. Because it was <laughs> only 20 minutes. Uh, Reboot, episode one. Let me go on episode one. Just click the first link right there, dude. It's the funniest scenes. It's a five minute long video. Oh, episode one. Oh, okay. God, I've learned to read. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he showed his ass in the first scene. With my boyfriends, rich people have. So that's them branching it's off. It's definitely a more mature show. They're branching off in the more mature stuff. The nice lighting that owns this apartment. It's a gift I made for you. They did leave it open though, in case she wanted to come back and do it. Yeah. Yeah, they said something like she's out on a with a biker gang. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. They were like, <laughs> "Oh, Sam, she's out with some weird biker gang." I mean. That's the one you were just watching. I, don't want to do it by myself. I know. It was the first episode. Ah, oh, fuck it. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I figured you'd uh, you throw a bitch fit over her saying it's an and symbol instead of saying Epperson. Is that what the word is? You didn't even know it? I don't, I don't fucking care. What the hell the name of a symbol is? An Amberson. The You're the sign. smart one, asshole. It's the and sign. <laughs> 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 Sounds the same. And then uh, her talking about her black friend, fucking having sex and 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 you know, even with non-bearing people and shit like that. <laughs> her friend's got an ass on her though. Black girl's a lesbian. With the black one. Yeah. But she fucks dudes, right? I don't know. She just had a lady over in like episode two or something. Oh. Maybe she's gender fluid because they're pushing this on the kids now. <laughs> is uh you have to fuck everybody else even if you don't feel comfortable about it such a brave statement yeah they were talking about his art he's like it was an accident yeah he his phone caught on fire and melted <laughs> that's just that's that's a good nod at like art is just how people perceive it and I yeah guess. And yeah he just adopts this this kid that he divorced <laughs> yeah I'm like why would you do that you asshole <laughs> Come on, Freddy. No, I'm just oh, and then she was like, I don't usually do this, but you want to go somewhere comfortable? I was like, okay, cool. They're fucking giving her, like, no, she's just sitting in a Snuggie with the other guys. <laughs> they watching Law and Order? I'm like, oh, God. I thought they were going to actually be like, all right. They didn't have to show them fucking, but I mean, at least in the bed with covers and shit. Oh, yeah, and she comes back as Freddy's mom because he's living with her now, I guess, apparently. Yeah, because it's broke bitch oh yeah because he divorced and he adopted this stupid little kid like a dumb dumb is it me or is it freddy look like he has like a fucking wig on dude <laughs> he, lo he looks like he has a comb over wig dude he looks like he's bald no, he doesn't though he's not are you sure look at it it looks fake dude it's just thinning it looks fake dude i'm telling you so how does this show? Uh, I mean, you were a fan of the show before the you know, this I came out. I don't remember the original really. Well, you right. made a big. You, you <laughs> like the show? I mean, you used to love the show. I don't want to say love, but yeah. You posted on Facebook, bitch. You didn't. What? What? Yeah. For everybody, Friendly hi reminder. Carly. <laughs> Come on, man. It's no shame. Like what you like. I made one that looks like you too, Freddy, but I sold it to Nora Dershlet. Is that somebody? Is that like a crazy stalker? Is that what it said? I don't there was a bra? Yeah. I don't think so in the actual one. No, I mean, in the I mean, remember in the show there was a stalker stalking Freddy. Yeah, I don't. Uh, Because my kid, he would always... Even when the theme song came on, I was mumbling the words because that's how much my kid used to watch the show. <laughs> Get 
They're still doing that fucking wacky fucking uh, smear in the face, the baby thing. I'm see. Uh, does it keep going doing the same dumb bullshit on the on the YouTube things? Like no, where they're doing really, there wasn't like really much focus on the show on the her YouTube whatever show too much. And I was like, why? You are like 30. Why do you give a shit about what's happening on YouTube? She's an you influencer be, now. You should be focusing on your life She's on YouTube. She's an influencer now. That's another thing, too. I'm like, if I was dating a chick who's 30 and still doing shit like that on YouTube, I would probably think she's like borderline retarded or something. Or like some kind of autism. Autism. I mean, you're doing this. It's not too this is different. a podcast. I guess. Everybody has podcasts. I'm talking like wacky, like I'm gonna put jello on my feet and wiggle them around. It's like that's just like weird. Like, why are you doing shit like that? Like, <laughs> and the fucked up thing is the guy Dan Schneider. He's still credited as a producer, hey, brother. and he's the one who's like, uh, Beat. yeah, he he got fucking caught. Yeah, me too. About fucking fucking all the little kids and shit on there. I didn't even remember the song when they played it. I I, I did I didn't remember the song until they fucking played it at the beginning, and I was like, ah, uh, because I just remember my kid watching. He was like, "Was it watching High Carly? Was it watching High Carly?" Ethan, man, he was obsessed with High Carly, and that fucking one show with uh, Eric Roberts' daughter. What's her name? Emma Roberts. Emma Roberts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What show? She was. She played acoustic guitar. Unfabulous. Un, un, yeah, that one. I remember watching that one. <coughs> yeah, and then he just played. I was like, "She's still sexy." I mean, she's sexy. Hey. <laughs> 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 like when I first heard it, I didn't remember it, and then like hearing it two more times. Yeah, I know that's what I'm Stuck saying. Like, again. like I said, like, when I heard it, it was just like it's, it's like when I hear "Let It Go," <laughs> let it like it burn because Lily watched it every single fucking day, nonstop, twenty four seven, and that's the same thing with like Nickelodeon. Yeah. Nickelodeon showed iCarly constantly at that time. Like I said, like I watched it, like I just casually watched it. I wasn't like as much of a diehard fan as more other people. Yeah. Like, everyone else remembers, like, specific shit and everything, and all I remember is, like, fucking Kibby. Kibby? Was that the one who was obsessed with him? That was the fat kid that, like, helped him when he was always shirtless. Oh, yeah, what happened to him? What do you mean? Did he come back? No, not yet, anyways. He was on, um, the Goldbergs for a little bit. That's weird that they just, like... He'd probably... He's probably gonna make an appearance, no doubt. Let's see what Jeanette McCrudy explains why she's not in the reboot. Yeah, but how long is this clip? Hold on, let me get to her talking. Now about Sam's role, Jeanette McCurdy said that acting was often difficult for her and she frequently struggled during audition processes. What are you talking about? She has a show on Netflix. And although she was able to overcome that, the passing of her mom later altered her goals. Oh, her mom died? Her kind of died a lot of her ideas for my life. Oh, that's crazy. Journey. I know her mom died. One for sure, she said. She further added, I'm She's so sexy ashamed as of fuck though. in the past. I resent my career in a lot of ways. I feel so unfulfilled by the roles that I played and felt like it was the cheesiest, embarrassing. I did the shows that I was on from like 13 to 21, and by 15, I was already embarrassed. Jeanette has quit acting to pursue writing and directing. She was embarrassed to be on a popular show. I know, right? Come on now. What a first world fucking problem. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was on a national TV show and every guy wanted to fuck me. God damn. How horrible does that sound? Other than the sexualizing. Not too bad. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, nah, though. Dude. I guarantee she'll probably end up coming back eventually. Come on, man. I'm telling you, she probably got fucked by that Dan Snyder guy. That Dan Snyder guy. I feel like she'd come out and say it. No, nah, she might be too embarrassed. Cause that dude, you see that guy? That dude's a, <laughs> that dude's a fat pig, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways. Nice, We're going to go nice, on to... Nice. Uh, Dave, my name is Dave. You know, I do miss that the beginning, uh, like when that when he goes, my name is Dave. When it used to do that, now uh -oh. it just says Dave, and then it goes into the show. 
Um, what do you think of the the first two episodes? Or the first episode of day or first two, yeah. Right? Yeah. There's two episodes a day. I don't know. I didn't really think they were funny, but like it's a good show overall. Yeah, it's becoming like, more like Atlanta now. I, I I literally felt like that too. I was like, man, this isn't as funny as the other shit. <clears throat> and out the Maybe whole they time. Get into it. The whole time I was waiting for Allie to show up. That beautiful goddess, <laughs> the blue eyes, big doe eyes that she has. I was waiting for a little time. He's like, is Allie going to be here? I was like, yeah, is Allie going to be there? I was thinking to myself, because yeah. I was like, I want to see Allie. They had to really invest it, huh? I was like, I want to see Allie. But then he's like, I took a shit in Korea. <laughs> <laughs> and he's trying to do like a Korean pop song and shit right. now to try to get more uh, views because Korean pop is like off the charts now, I guess, apparently. That's a weird thing. Ameri- oh, yeah. Kendall Jenner's in there, and she's like, Kendall, I've never seen her laugh so hard. I think she likes you. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kendall, this guy thinks he, you like him. <laughs> like, it just embarrasses him and shit. Oh, yeah, Gator fucking freaking out about the whole fucking... VR porn. <laughs> VR porn. Oh, oh, then Andrew Santino's character, he's like... Uh, He's all like, he was looking at, remember, he was looking at the manager. He's like, why is he all crashed down like that? He looks so calm and peaceful when he's doing that. And then he just like slowly just starts crouching down to him. <laughs> oh, yeah, and his old, his best friend who made his beats is kind of being a dick to him, too. I know, right? Like, he was just putting him off. Like, every time he's trying to joke with him, he's just like, yeah, he's all coked out of his mind, too, now. The things that fame does to people. Oh, that's a th- I know, right? Yeah, no. I mean, it's cool because it's like a kind of like a self biopic in a way of him. Yeah, I know, but it just wasn't as funny. You were just expecting it to be funny. Yeah, well, not expecting it, but I mean, humor. I wasn't expecting it to be just like a full blown drama, you know, right off the bat. I was because <laughs> I was excited because I like his humor and I like I like you know. What he's going through, but then it just started out like him trying to be like a a, a big rock star, or you know, uh-huh. like a big like he was like already Jay Z or some shit. Because uh, when he came off, when he was like wearing all the fancy clothes and all that shit, and he went to do his uh, first Korean pop music videos. <laughs> Dude, that was so. Funny. We got BTS or what was it? BTS? I don't yeah. know. Some fucking. I know they're like some K-pop fucking phenomenon going on. Like they all look like they're fucking girls. Uh, er, they look like pretty Asian women, uh, in bowl cuts. But uh, <laughs> and one of them actually did like a Hitler sign at like one video award. I know that was a thing too. Um, but uh, I don't know. I was just like, people are way into K-pop. I, the more than I thought, dude. Like that's a like people are into Asian anime and K-pop more than I thought they were in America. Mm. It's like it must be a new thing. It's not when I like my age. I mean, my age, you know, people watch anime, but like K-pop, like listen. I was to like, that. well, it's easier these days too with the internet. Like, yeah, with the internet and everything now, because like it's all at your fingertips and shit like yeah. that. And if you're in anime, because my son, he loves My Hero Academia, yeah. and he plays the theme song to My Hero Academia while he's playing his video games, like Spider Man or Is whatever. Repeat. Yeah, and he just puts it on repeat. And it's like, I'm like, all right. <laughs> he's just like, he's sitting there going, me, ma, ma. He's singing the song to it. I'm like, I didn't realize this is a thing now. Like, maybe he'll take up Japanese when he gets older. Yeah. I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. You know what that song's about? Nope. Jerking off. Uh-huh. I don't even you know what you're off. singing. <laughs> when, you're jer- when you jerk off, you go, you squint, you turn in Japanese. You turn squint? Japanese, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You've never heard of that song? No. Oh, my God. You're going to make me play it now. <laughs> song by white people. <laughs> <laughs> the Vapors. This is like their one hit song. I wish I could make a one hit wonder. I know, right? Get tore with like poison and shit like that. And Def Leppard. Oh, 
Noah's house around. It's <laughs> <laughs> these white dudes playing these Asian songs. <laughs> so racist. <laughs> I turn in Japanese at the rating so You've never heard this song? Never. You're f- Come on. Turn in Japanese at the rating so Yeah, it's a song about jerking off. <laughs> Interesting. Nope, yep, never heard it. Never heard of it. Could That's really. crazy, dude. That's like an 80s, like, one hit wonders type thing, dude. It's crazy you've never heard that song. Anywho, Dave. Um, well, the first episode is him making a video of trying to make global success in Korea. <laughs> and then the second episode, he's back home and he's trying to hold on. Uh, I'm looking at the uh, synopsis. Uh, back home, Dave is trying to hold on to his own feet to the creative fire. But the world has conspired to throw every possible distraction at him especially the fact that he's going to see Allie for the first time since they broke up which they never did and I was waiting for the whole time because mm-hmm. I when he was like oh my god that's Allie and he goes over to the dance floor he starts dancing in the middle of the day. <laughs> and I was like oh I want to see that goddess she's just so hot dude like she's like a natural hot dude like not like some fucking gross not not, not like a her like she's got to be stick thin but like she's like normal like a chick that you just see in like everyday life hot dude yeah like mm. damn dude sexy man damn the ass too dude right don't leave me hanging <laughs> i got lost remember you know in the he days. got lost in the, <laughs> in the picture <laughs> what about this one got them legs but yeah oh there was another one she should should probably pop up in the season at some point oh yeah i did see in uh, imdb she was um she was uh 11 episodes i believe Hmm. and there's 14 episodes all together that the other people in so she she'll probably she'll be in some of the episodes but i just don't know which ones i'm trying to find yeah <laughs> her when he's trying to eat her ass through the hole. <clears throat> yeah, I would. Oh my god, yes I would, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? That's hilarious, dude. That was a funny ass episode. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but yeah, this season's more of him like being like writer's block and shit so far. And he him wanting Allie back and he's you know, that's pretty much what it's leading up to is like his muse was Allie. Because he tried to do that one song. Oh yeah, when with they were the, just talking. When when he hooked up with I don't know, just say whatever. <laughs> Hello. I don't know, dude, but that chick was hot though. And she's hot, man. I, I can't wait for her to come back, man. I wanna see her more shit. Or at least, you know, topless or something. <laughs> see her in a nude movie, something. Something nude. I wanna see that something see more than ass, dude. She's hot. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, something to look forward to in the upcoming, uh, season of Dave. Dun, 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 dun. Um, you watch Black Summer? Like the first four episodes, do you? Did you watch it all? Wait a minute. You watched all four episodes? There's eight, I thought. No, I mean, you said you watched four episodes? Yeah. Oh, okay. I watched all of them. Oh, nice. I didn't even realize I did it, because I watched... The fuck? Three at work, um, because I had to break down beds. Thank God. <laughs> um, so at work it was easy. It was an easy night, so I had it on and I was watching it as I was doing stuff. So I watched like three, four episodes, and then when I came home, I put it on and you know it was on the computer typing everything up. And I by the end of it, I was like, oh shit, I watched the whole fucking season. I guess. <laughs> Because they're like only 30 minutes. 40? They're like 34, 34 minutes. They're like, like 40 minutes. 
Really? Because mm-hmm. most of them were like 30, 34. It said like 32, 34. Every time I clicked on it. Maybe the first one was 40 minutes. But yeah, I mean, what would you think of it? I, I liked it. Dude, at first I was like not enjoying the whole what time mean? and perspective jumping. I forgot about that. Oh, I, I know. The whole... I, that's what I... I mean, we talked about it when the first season came out. I was like... Why do they have to fucking label every fucking scene? Car. <laughs> Meat. <laughs> like, like, why do they have to? Do, they, they, that's the thing. I, they, they treat the people like they're idiots when they're watching the movie or watching the show. It's like, we're not fucking idiots. Just play the goddamn show linearly and we'll fucking get it. Sorry. And, uh, but yeah, it's like I, that's the one thing I hate about the show is the goddamn fucking. Because there was one scene, the dude it was like, uh, it was a black dude. He got up, looked at his wound, looked around. It was two, three minutes of him just looking around, and then he just walks down the road, and it cuts back to something else. Yeah. Why did we have to see that? I know. What was that about? Just from the. Didn't die. mean anything. Oh. Like Just, why? Why did you? Why do we have to have these little cut scenes with like words in it? That makes no sense to me. That bugs me. But I like the show. Yeah, I it's, mean, by the time it got to like episode three and shit, it stayed more focused on like one scene, which I was like, yes, finally. Yeah, I know. Because so, prelude, the second episode was yeah. a prelude to how they got to the house and everything and all that stuff. Um, but I, I really wish they would have started from how like the, how they got from stadium from the last episode of last season did they explain it at all nothing she just said we we came from the city oh that's all she nice. said i did because i rewatched the last episode yeah. of uh black summer last a couple weeks ago and uh that scene is fucking pretty cool dude like when i don't know if you remember they all walk up and they look over and they just see a bunch of other group of peoples coming around in circles and they look over on the other side and there's other group of people coming to the city because they're supposed to be, you know. Yeah, because it was following all those people and then yeah. like, she's the only And then all of a sudden, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you just hear <sighs> coming from the city and then all these zombies just start coming out and they all bundle up together and they just start going inside the city to yeah. the stadium and shit. And then everybody was dying left and right and shit like that. It was pretty fucking cool, that scene. But then, after that, like, the black dude, her, and the Asian chick who doesn't speak English, they're the only survivors from the original movie, or original show, I believe. I don't know, even, I don't know, I'm gonna get spoiled as it goes on, but... I I was say, yeah, the last thing I watched was that shootout in the house. Oh, okay, when, um... She yeah. drops a shotgun, and the other guy, he's already shot, and he throws, she throws him down into the basement? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Stuff like that. I finished that episode four, but yeah. Oh, there's okay. only two episodes that are thirty something minutes. No, oh, okay. I thought they were all like forty minutes or thirty minutes. I, I liked how that. some of the scenes, like they, they also made them one shot, like constantly. Like some of the scenes when they, when they cut to like, oh, this is meat or whatever day or some shit, and then it's just like one scene. They try to make the whole thing one scene. I think that I thought that was pretty cool, and especially when the dude just like. Siphoning gas, and then he ends up turning into a zombie and gets shot in the <laughs> shot, shot in the neck and shit yeah, like that. She's like, "Oh, thank you, thank you." And she's hugging him and unlocks the door. Yeah, I know. And that's the fucked up thing about it is, dude. People would do that shit in real life, dude. If it was like a zombie apocalypse or any apocalypse, dude, they would. Man, fuck. I probably would have drove off as soon as she got in the car, dude. I know she got in the car, drive off. I got myself a fucking hold the plug. <laughs> That's what, uh, what's her name? Jamie King. She was like, don't look at my daughter. And if I think you even think about fucking <laughs> having any thoughts about my daughter, or she even has any thoughts, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> when that dude came in. That's a thing too, dude. You gotta worry about that shit, dude. Dude's trying to rape. And it's wild that the this show is a prequel to Z Nation, because Z Nation... Is a fucking I I literally tried to watch that show multiple times because I love zombie genre mm-hmm. and I love comedy and some of the shit is is funny but then dude they make it so slapstick in Z Nation like there's a guy who's immune to zombies which is a cool concept like he's the immunization and the whole point is 
like him getting to the CDC or somewhere so they can find a cure. That's the whole point of the show. But then it turns out he can communicate with zombies. Like telepathy with everything in the show in Z Nation. And you're like, okay, that's, that could be kind of cool like to thwart off people and stuff like that because he kind of has an infection. No, 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 no. One episode... He goes off on himself and creates a fucking strip club with zombies in it and a zombie bouncer. And it just got cartoonish. And I'm like, what is happening right now, dude? I'm like, this is so dumb. I'm like, you guys had a good premise going. And then all of a sudden, you like, you're going to fuck it up with like some weird like zombie strippers. Like, what is happening? I mean, it was kind of cool how they cut back and forth in time, but the thing I fucking hated was the words. Like, oh, subtitles. Those oh, fucking there. words every time they cut a scene. It's like, I'm not a fucking idiot. I can, I know what the fuck is happening. Stop doing that. But in other words, I don't know. I, I babble on it. What about you? What, do you? what do you think of this whole season? Second season? So far, like I said, I, didn't, I just forgot about that. It didn't, bother me. it didn't really bother me the first season when it was like cutting back and forth and whatnot. Yeah. No. But, like, this one was just, like, bothering me, and I was just, like, losing interest real fast. It happened probably six times in each episode when it cut to a scene. It would be, like, bullets, and it would be somebody looking for bullets. It's like, why? And, we, uh, we, like we, some we, of them were, like, <laughs> one minute long. I was like, okay. Like, why did you have some to have Some of them were that? pointless, too. Yeah, like the dude waking up and walking down a road. It's like, what was that about? I don't know. And then later on, it cuts to a scene where he ends up in the ditch. Like, yeah. Okay. Who cares? Like, Definitely could do a little bit keep, better with the storytelling. Eh, move the story. The but it's way better in Z Nation. It's like 100 times better in Z Nation, dude. Yeah, um, so far, like I said, the, the whole like gunfight and battle of like the manor or whatever was pretty dope. Scene. Yeah, that was a cool scene, dude. Like, they had the Asian chick in, in handcuffs. Yeah. And like, so yeah. I can't believe, like, I'm trying to think of where uh, you didn't get to the part after the shootout, you were just still in the shootout in the house. I don't know what you mean. Like know. what happened episode at the four. episode? Did everybody that dude in the bathroom with the two girls? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And he's like, "I know where the strip is." And then I thought to myself, "None of these people know where the strip is." <laughs> well, they just—they're traveling north. Because <laughs> apparently, the cold, the zombies don't like cold, which I don't think that theory works out because apparently there's a lot of them up there <laughs> so and even they say that in z nation which was kind of cool i mean they said something about how zombies move slower in the cold and uh they also referred to the first outbreak as black summer ah. so that's where they got the title of the show is black summer anywho uh we'll move on what else did uh what else did we got uh, Loki, a uh, synopsis, Mor M Mobius, I want to call him Morbius, Mobius puts Loki at, to work, but not everyone at the TVA is thrilled about the God of Mischief's presence. So yeah, there was like a whole like seven scene in there too. I mean, you ever seen the movie seven? Nope. Dude, I'm telling you, watch that fucking movie. Brad Pitt. Morgan Freeman. You watch it. David Fincher. It's a fucking classic horror, like, serial killer movie. But uh, there's a scene where he's like, I need to find files. And it's like playing classical music and stuff. And they're in the fucking life. That's literally what Morgan Freeman did in the movie. Is like, when he was, like, looking up cases, he would go to the library and look up press cases and, 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 and history and, like, philosophy when killers would use stuff. And, like, it was, he would always play classical music while he was doing it and stuff like that. So, it was like, an homage to Seven at the same time. It was great. You need to watch that fucking movie. It's fucking great. It was, like, before Legends of the Falls that put Brad Pitt on the radar of fandom, Seven, like, literally put him on the spot. Because that's where he met Gwyneth Paltrow. Because Gwyneth Paltrow was the wife in the movie. And uh, that's when they hooked up. Was in Seven. But uh, anyways. What do you think of this uh, episode? For like the first half, I was pretty bored with it. Yeah? yeah. See, that's what I was saying. Loki. Loki. Not a trailer, but Loki. They played <laughs> I Need a Hero. 
That's what it was. It wasn't another trailer. It was Loki. And this chick, she was in, um, she was in the new Hellboy. She was uh, the new uh, the chick that Summer Bear played, can catch on fire. Um, and she was in that short-lived fucking Amazon show. It canceled after one season. She's kind of cute, but she's got like small teeth. The trap. Watch your back. But, uh, yeah, the variant in this episode is based on Lady Loki, a female version of Loki from the Marvel Comics, because in different timelines, people, because they even said that in episodes, like, different, in different timelines, people are different in each, like, he can look like this, he can be this, and, like, and then when, uh, that time variant thing was, like, gender fluid in the file, everybody's like, oh, so now they're pushing gender, it was all, like, no, he's gender fluid because, like, in each timeline, he could be a different person. It's not like he's like, oh, I want to be Spider-Man right now. <laughs> it's not like he just, he's like, you know, and he, in different timelines, he could be a woman, he could be a man. It just all depends on how everything works out in that timeline kind of thing. This is a great song, though. I love this song. I don't know why I don't remember this scene. Really? Yeah. Maybe I watched too much shit. It's right at the beginning of the show. Yeah, I know. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching it right now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember it. I don't even remember the song playing either. Like, oh yeah, but in this episode, he finds out that uh, in a file he was reading uh, that uh, the destruction of Asgard was a Class Seven apocalypse, and ninety seven hundred Asgardians died when you know Serta destroyed the whole place. And then he was realizing like that the other Loki can just hide himself. Inside other disasters where every everything was going to get like, like Pompeii, yeah. Pompeii, and like just natural disasters that were going to happen, it was going to wipe everybody out in that whole place, and was just basically hiding in those disaster times, basically. So it was just him hunting down. <laughs> oh yeah, and then <laughs> it was hilarious when. It, hold on, let me find that scene. When it took a salad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. The salad. In apocalypses. Which apocalypse? Any time in history, there's like a million of them. <laughs> Ragnarok. Are you familiar? Yes, the destruction of Asgard and most of its people. I do like, um... Yes. Very sad. Anyway, Tom Hiddleston and, uh... Owen Wilson's banter back and forth. It's very Nexus buddy cop type thing. Happen when someone does something that not I do remember to do, this right? thing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but yeah. More yeah, they do but, like know, have great. good like dialogue with each other, chemistry. Yeah, uh, cascades into a whole range of other things. So, I'm kind of hoping that he that's he's gonna so end cool. up being like a time variant and like be a time branches. cop. That'd yes. be great. <laughs> and then have a show of him and exactly. him mm -hmm. just so, being time let's cops. Just say, <laughs> your salad be awesome. Is Asgard? No, in this scenario, it's not Asgard. That's my lunch. Just hang in there. I want that salad. I could go down to Asgard. Before a little last salad, first of all. Complete destruction, and I could do anything I wanted. I could, let's say, Hulk off the Rainbow Bridge. There he goes. The salt <laughs> Hulk. And I could also set fire to the palace. <laughs> Just stop. Don't set fire okay. to the palace. I can do whatever I want to do, and it would never matter. It wouldn't go against the dictates of the timeline, <laughs> because... He poured a lot of salt and pepper in that bitch. I know, right? He just runs over and grabs somebody's fucking... Oh, you. Eugene Cordero. That dude's hilarious. He was the guy who was like, yeah, we got those all over the place. The Infinity Stones? Yeah, he was the one with the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a no, he's a don't do improviser. He's fucking hilarious, dude. That's the apocalypse. Ragnarok obliterates. He's pouring juice on a salad. That's his theory about... Ragnarok. There it is. What am I looking at? Okay, it was a clumsy metaphor, but you see what I mean? 
it doesn't matter. Yeah. It could be any apocalypse. But, it yeah. could be a tidal wave. It could be a meteor. It could be a yeah. That's pretty much all this episode was about. Huh? I was if trying to catch the very the yeah. variant or whatever, and then find out it's Lady Loki, and then find out who yeah. is I don't know, like, fucking up the main timeline. She sent all the reset charges and shit to the main timeline. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's yeah. Because they were like, "What are you trying to do?" And then, and then all of a sudden, she just started sending every. Yeah, that's the chick who's playing Lady Loki. Mm. It's really cute. Those eyes. I know she's got beautiful eyes. But yeah, she basically just created the multiverse. Yeah. So she was just purposely trying to put people into different timelines and shit like that, mm. or erase timelines. Yeah, I think. Mm. Reset them. I don't know. Yeah, because they like politely like. Explained what the reset charges are for, and he's like, "That's a nice way to put disintegrate." <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a lot of charges. Yeah, I know. He got them set all around the whole place and everything. And then they teleport to who the fuck knows where. Yeah, because yeah, they just she teleports them to some place because they thought they were gonna bl she was gonna blow up this one place, but. She was literally just teleporting him to off into different timelines and stuff. So she's like fucking up the whole timeline. Yeah, the sacred one. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know how. I don't know. Prince is rapidly forming at a salt. Somebody just found the sacred timeline. Well, anyways. Um, Superman. I gotta look up Superman. Lewis. God damn it. I hate when they fucking... Lana reaches out to Lois and Clark while Kyle starts behaving strangely. Jonathan opens up to Jordan. Sarah storms out after accusing her mother of always covering for her dad. So she finds out her dad was actually possessed and she just thought her dad was just like a alcoholic. raging alcoholic. <laughs> uh. um, it did start out. I mean, it did have a fight scene at the beginning, but then it just cut away, and I was like, what? What happened? Like, it just cut away from the scene. He ran away. Yeah, and he just flew away, and it was like, that was the end of the scene. Like, why wouldn't he go after him? Like, why would he just give up and be like, that's it? All right. <laughs> but yeah, he's his half-brother. I was the first son of Christ. He came here as a kid. Yeah, he came in, and then everybody just shot at him automatically. He was like, what? To <laughs> him as a slave. Well, I mean, he's a ship. He's oh, yeah, he was an alien ship. <laughs> huh? They were scared. I would have been scared. What, what would you do if you saw a ship just land in your backyard? Leave it alone. Leave it alone? I would shit my pants. I would run out of the house. I would call the cops. I would leave the kids behind. I would... <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch the thing in the backyard, kids. I'm going. I'll be back. I'm going to get cigarettes. I'm going to go by. <laughs> and then he brings his mom back and goes inside Lana. And then he has his old little heartfelt, like, you know rekindling with his mother and then basically there was a thing too when uh we need a heat source that's hotter than the sun to do to make this technology work and he fucking takes it up he shoots his lasers they all shoot the lasers at the same time at him and he's they're holding it and it's like shh, and then poof, a big shockwave these people fell from the air like hundreds of feet these people would have been dead <laughs> Yeah, I thought about that too. I was like, wait, what? Why don't they just die? Yeah, I know. They just end up standing. We're standing on the ground and woke up. I'm like, what happened? I'm like, no, you guys would be dead landing on cars, landing on houses. Like, just <laughs> like a fucking blood filled water balloons. Oh. I've, I've she never all been used to all this. I know, it's a right? little surreal to see Superman in real life. I'm. Just and then to how him she's him. like, Lois is so cool about him. Yeah, it can be a little weird. Come on, follow me. With the yeah, you think that's here. weird? We'll try sucking his cock. That was pretty much the episode. Was that fucking garbage? It was like, I, I was like, come on now. All righty. Hold on. Yeah. But I guess you didn't like the flash this week either. <sighs> Getting tired of it, eh? No, I did not. She's alone in her fucking past and like... Yeah, being in a psych ward or something. Psych ward. And then it was just like bringing back Medusa Mask. But then it was funny because like when she came, she put the Medusa Mask on, Ce on Cecil's face. 
She looks like the predator, dude. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I, yeah. I see it. <laughs> she put it on and she got her hair on. I was like, she just looked like the predator. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I don't know. It was okay, I guess. I don't fucking know. Psycho Pirate, I guess, was the villain. She was supposed to be the new Psycho Pirate or whatever. But then it just, she just looked like the predator. That's all. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think that's it. It was all right. (laughs) Dude, I'd laugh, though, when, like, I don't remember his name, but the black dude, like, caught them having sex. Oh, yeah, at the beginning. (laughs) Barry and Iris getting down. We're just checking inventory. Yeah. Barry looks over at her. Your shit. Yeah. Your hair. My dick and her ease. But then, like, that's what I was thinking, too. I was like, why didn't he just run them home or something? Yeah, I know. It's like, you're the fastest man in the world. Like, just fucking... (laughs) Oh, yeah, with this dick in Iris' puss still. Dude, she's got to come when, it's, when that happens. The vibration. <laughs> oh! <laughs> As they stop. Oh! It's got to be awesome. Good for her. <laughs> Super dick. <laughs> Speedy dick. Because, <laughs> I mean, shit. If he's fucking in mid-fuck... He's not gonna just stop and wrap up. He's the fastest man in the world. You just <laughs> hold her head so it doesn't snap as she's running. <laughs> as you're running. <laughs> Even him being the fastest man, all he could do is just make out and he could like fuck her and she could have like a hundred orgasms in like ten seconds. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're that, trying to get pregnant. Is that your speed force sound? Yeah, it's not. <laughs> I'm trying to get pregnant. We're trying to get pregnant. You can literally try to get pregnant every five minutes if you wanted to. <laughs> you can pump cum into her every five goddamn minutes. <laughs> so stop acting like you don't want. He doesn't want to have kids. That's the bottom line. Oh, my God. That's when she's going to find out she's pregnant is when Kid Flash comes back in time. Uh, pregnant right now? What about her daughter? Yeah. Nora. Because the name after small. Well, she's coming back too in that episode. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Hey, oh boy. What? She was cute. Oh, I'm not saying she's not. <laughs> she's just not ready for that episode. Got it. She had an ass on her, dude. Yeah. She had a great ass. Anywho, I think that's it for all the TV shows. Huh? Yeah. Um. All right. Hollywood Reporter brought that Kevin Bacon and Collider brought that uh, or Deadline. Reported that Elijah Wood and Julie Davis are cast in the Peter Dinklage-led movie Toxic Avenger. Kevin Bacon will be playing the villain of the movie. Which, I don't really remember the fucking villain of the movie. I was going to say it was like that. I <laughs> really don't remember. Um, But that's interesting, though. And it's going to be directed by... McCon Blair, who I really like this dude because he was he directed I Don't Feel at Home in This World Anymore. It starred Elijah Wood, it was on Netflix, and it starred the weird chick from um she was like the psycho girl from um Two and a Half Men, the one that psycho chick that always showed up at Charlie's and was like trying to hook up with him. Yeah. Um it was a really funny, quirky movie. It's on Netflix. And he also starred in Blue Ruin and Green Room, which Green Room, I swear to fucking God, is a fucking great movie. It's on Netflix. It's 90 minutes. It's fucking great horror fucking one of Allentown Yelchid's last films. Um, but, and he also played the teacher in Thunder Road. Uh, remember that movie? Uh, yeah, Thunder Road. Remember when he had the meltdown? Yeah. He was the teacher he had the meltdown the in front director? of. The director? The director of this movie. Yeah. Yeah. The guy who was playing the teacher in that movie is directing this movie. Nice. And he's a lot of fucking really good indie films, so I don't know. It's interesting. I mean, it's going to be fucking from one. So they seem to get some, they're getting some actual, like, r- at least recognizable stars. Not like big stars, but like. I mean, Peter Dinklage is going to be playing the Toxic Avenger. The is Toxic he, Avenger is like six foot tall, dude. So. Say, is he going to grow or is he going to be a little toxic? They're going to put around? his face on top of a six foot man. <laughs> I don't, I'm, dude, I think it'd be hilarious to leave him a Space midget. Space pants. I think it'd be hilarious to leave him a midget, <laughs> to be honest. Like, 
<laughs> right then in its own is like comedy right there. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Toxic Avenger, the guy who was like a nerd, he was a scrawny nerd, and he got put in a vat, and then yeah. he became this hulking six foot guy um, who took revenge on local drug yeah. dealers. Bullshit. It was just basically it was just oh, like a, yeah. maybe maybe Kevin Bacon would just be like the head cartel person or whatever. Yeah. Or like fucking Super. You never seen that movie, James Gunn Super. He was a drug dealer named uh, Jock, <laughs> and he was fucking uh, Rain Wilson's uh, wife, who's played by Liv Tyler, and uh, he was just like this drug dealer. I don't know. He could be some kind of like some kind some like. Mm-hmm. He was great in that movie, and that movie's awesome, dude. All right, let's move on. Uh, E3 trailers. Is there anything you want to talk about E3? I honestly didn't even pay attention to it really this year at all. There's an Avatar game, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I did see that because I like Avatar, and there's there's supposed to be like four movies coming out within every two years. Apparently, every year or every two years, there's going to be an Avatar movie coming out, oh, which yeah. is like. Wait for the other movie to hit. Like, I mean, I mean, the first Avatar made a billion dollars, and it was like the highest grossing movie of all time. Um, I, I think until Endgame came out. Yeah, which uh, what was her name? Zoe's whatever. Zoe what? Something or whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> she stars in both of them. Yeah, she stars in both <laughs> of them. She she stars in both of the highest grossing movie of all time. <laughs> she got to be getting paid, right? <laughs> I know, right? That's her like selling point. Is like shit. I can just I'm I'm in the two of the <laughs> highest grossing movies of all time. <laughs> Pay me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool though. Like it looks like the game would be exploring the world or whatever. Yeah, I know. It's like kind of like what you want to do in the movie, and apparently that's what they're gonna do in the movie. The whole movie is supposed to all the movies are basically exploring the whole world of Pandora. There was one game, though, that I heard a lot about. It's back for Blood, I think it's called. Oh, there's your Guardians of the Galaxy one. What did you think of that? It was cool. I probably won't end up playing it, honestly. I never play- I didn't even end up playing the Avengers game. I did. And it's the same people who made the Avengers yeah. game, so it's apparently they nice. have some kind of a uh, deal with them, Disney and everything. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, Dying Light 2. Oh, yeah. My kid was a... When he saw the trailer for this, he's like, Dad, can I have Dying Light 2? I'm like, what? He's like, can I get Dying Light 2? I was like, when's that coming out? In December? I was like, why are you asking me now? It's Christmas stuff. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Literally Christmas, yeah. <laughs> yeah, one fucking thing for Christmas. What is it, Dying Light It's 2? like a parkour zombie game. Oh, yeah, dude. I love the first one. I hated it. It made me so confused and just, like, I would run. I'm like, I'm like, why am I not jumping up this thing? And I'm like, I can't do any. I don't know. I just hate not being able to see around me, you know? Like, oh, if third, I need a third yeah. person thing. Uh, I just, the whole first person shit. That's the point, bothers. though. With a game like Dying Light, first person's the way to go because that shit actually scare you when you get fucking jumped. Like Left 4 Dead, bro? No, dude. It pissed me off because Did I'm you like, like Left 4 Dead games? I mean, I played, I played it, but I was just like. I hated, I hate first person. I just hate first person shit. The only ones that I've ever played first person was probably like Medal of Honor, like early PlayStation 2, stuff like that. But other than that, it was like, I don't know. I just hate Uh, first person shit. You might just have to look up the trailer. Um, What'd you say the game was? Back for Blood. Back for Blood. It's like a spiritual, I don't know, predecessor to Left 4 Dead kind of deal. Oh really? I don't know. Something oh like yeah, that. yeah. I did see a game that was supposed to be like that. Yeah, yeah. Official I, release date trailer. Isn't oh. it supposed to be like same, uh, yeah. from the same creators? Second one. Oh, the second one. Isn't it supposed? To, <coughs> isn't it the same creators? Yeah, the okay. same studio, I think, or whatever. But yeah, it's like I a mean, the game was cool. Four player, yeah. Yeah, because it was like an online game. It was like one of those games that you get. It was like online to play or multiplayer. I found that out the hard way. When I rented it, and I was like, I wanted to play single player, like a uh, story mode, and there was no story mode. It was just levels, like to play. We're oh, just here. to play by yourself. Yeah, or you have to play with uh, a party type thing. Yeah, I mean, like, look at it. Like, you even hold the axe and everything the same way. 
like in Left 4 Dead. I mean, it's cool, but I just, I, I don't, what, the, what is everybody obsession with first per, first person stuff, man? It does, everything surprises you. Makes it more fun. Oh Unexpected. I like the fantastical part of it, being a third person and experiencing everything around you. That's what I like. Well then, fucking turn around, man, if you want to see everything around you. <laughs> That's why I love the Mass Effect games. They're fun. Or, uh, what is it, uh, The Last of Us games. Yeah, dude, those things do even look like they're just right out of, like, Left 4 Dead. Yeah, I know, right? I just saw it. That's what <laughs> it made me say Left 4 Dead, because I saw that alien looking like one of the spores. I probably will end up buying this. Oh, yeah, because you like playing online and stuff. Just, like, co-op games like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, that's what I'm saying. I you like been, playing co-op. I've been kind of playing more games. What's that? I've been kind of playing more video games now. Yeah? Did you end up playing the Spider-Man game you never finished? <laughs> no, nah, that's on the PS4. That's on my mom's. Uh, oh, your mom has a PS4? Yeah, I took it over there. Uh, that one case where we get robbed and all my shit gets stolen. <laughs> Are you preparation for somebody robbing you? Yeah, dude. I got a picture of both my systems next to each other for insurance. We're like, look at the date. Look at the timestamp on this bitch. Oh, yeah, because you live in the South. We did get robbed before. Yeah? Yeah, we got broken into before. When? Oh my shit, and it was like such a, I don't know, when I was in a, I don't know, probably the 8th grade. Oh, I thought you were just recently. Nah. Anywho. Other than that, any other games that interest you? Nah, I didn't really pay attention at all this year for some reason. You never played uh, Battlefield? Jerry sent that, right? Yeah, Jerry sent the, I never really was into too much That's of That's a first person war games um, and stuff. War it game. cool, yeah. I know Ethan loves those games, uh, Battlefield and Call of Duty stuff. <coughs> Shit, I remember when he was like, when did the one with Call of Duty when they were when they had to go into space? I have no idea. Because have... he was like, I want to say he was like twelve, and he beat that game. <laughs> that <laughs> like, might be Advanced Warfare. Yeah, yeah, like it was like twelve or yeah, he no, he was younger than twelve because he wasn't even. Yeah, he was like eleven. And he beat that game in, like, one night. <laughs> <laughs> like, he just stayed up all night and just played the game. Uh, I remember that because I was at work. <laughs> oh, and I also found out I don't have to work Sunday. Why? Because the federal government made Juneteenth a holiday, a federal holiday. Yeah, but that's tomorrow. What does that have to do with your... Because I work thirds, and Sundays would be my... <laughs> Or either that or saying? Friday. Like, I know, right? Tomorrow's Saturday. But they do that all the time, though. That's weird. They they give me days off. Because mm -hmm. they're not going to give me a day off on Father's Day. <laughs> That's not, what I was wondering. I was yeah, like, for like, Father's Day? The only other holiday, because he just sent it to me, and it was just nice. random. And it was like, oh, my boss, like, don't worry about coming on Sunday. It's a federal holiday now. And the only thing I could think of is Juneteenth, because yeah, they, they just basically... Which nobody's ever heard of Juneteenth until last year when the whole fucking riots and all that bullshit happened. And I mean, anybody ever says they did are fucking liars. I mean, if you have black friends and you pay attention in school, you did. No. Your black friends are lying to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're fucking lying to you. <laughs> None of them knew what any of that Juneteenth thing, anything, until they saw it on the TV. It's been a thing since I was in middle school. Did you I celebrated care June 13th. I did. Juneteenth. They they talk. I've never heard about yeah. June thirteenth until it's last 19th. year. I know what it is. Why do you keep saying thirteenth or Juneteenth? Whatever. I never understood what was Juneteenth, but yeah, Juneteenth well, is called that. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, Juneteenth. I just didn't understand why it was Juneteenth. I don't know it's how the hell they came up with that name. It's stupid. I don't know. Maybe Cinco de Mayo will be a national holiday now. No, it's not because it's not uh, changing the political. That's why. That's why it's never going to do anything. The only reason Juneteenth is a fucking uh, holiday now is because it's used as a political device. That's all it is. I know, right? That's weird, though, that Juneteenth is a fucking holiday in Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Isn't? It's a Mexican Independence Day, right? Yeah. We don't deserve a federal holiday, but Juneteenth that nobody's ever heard about until last year. And the whole fucking riots and everybody and everybody made a big deal about Juneteenth because that Antebellum movie came out and it was like a whole fucking thing. I don't know. No idea what movie you're talking about. 
Well, it, was, it was basically like the village, but with oh, black people. Oh, no, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It was basically the village, but that hot chick, the hot black chick. I don't remember what you're talking about. You said you were pissed off at them. <laughs> it's basically a village, and I hate the village. <laughs> <laughs> when does that old movie come out, his other movie? Uh, I don't know. I want to see like what his big twist at the end of that is, because like, I know everybody's turning old and everything. Yeah, I really am curious now, because like you would think like them turning old would be like the big twist of the movie, but he's probably got something fucking. I don't know. Maybe he starts sucking his own dick again and falls off like he did in the <laughs> village, <laughs> or Lady in the Water. Oh my god, Lady in the Water was horrible. You don't remember that movie? I never even heard of Paul that. Paul Giamatti. It was like a mermaid in a pool, and then fucking M. Night Shyamalan played a writer who saved the world, and then there was a guy who had an arm jerked off. I was like, what is happening? He had one arm that was stronger, like bigger than the other. It was... What he just f- wanted to see his limits. I'm like, oh my God. Like That's funny. He just started sucking his own dick and just like fell off, and then until he came back with, uh, what was that, that old people movie? Oh, fuck. That was a good one. The, the Visit. Visit, yeah. The Visit. That's a good fucking movie. Yeah. And surprisingly, not a lot of people have seen it. Yeah? It's a good like, movie. Like, if that gets on Netflix or something, like, I Catherine guarantee Catherine Hahn was in it. Like, yeah. yeah. She was I like, guarantee if that gets on Netflix, it's going to be popular. Who are those people? Grandma and Grandpa. That's not them. That's not Grandma and Pat. Grandpa. You you guys need to call the con- <laughs> I'm going to be right there. <laughs> Dude, I know. Could you imagine? <laughs> and then they found the, the dead bodies of the grandma and grandpa in the basement. That was fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. They were like, what? Whoa. What a Whoa. twist. <laughs> 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 that really got everybody in the fucking theater, like, legitimately. Like, oh, shit. Like, I remember sitting in the theater, and, like, when she's like, that's not them. And the whole theater just like, <sighs> like, that <laughs> gas, bro. Like. <laughs> I was like, dude, what? Damn, dude. Now, that was a good movie to see in the fucking theater. Yeah. And then yeah. Split. And then he did Split. Yeah. Which made his own little superhero hero universe. Yeah. yeah. The Visit ever gets on Netflix, man. I'm going to probably tell people to watch that shit. It might be on Amazon. Check it out. Anybody can find it. Hulu, Netflix, Amazon, whatever. Even if you have to rent it on Amazon. Just Even do it. Even though we just get the spoiler as fuck. Oh, I know, right? Fuck. <laughs> Maybe I'll edit it out. If I remember. <laughs> oh, dude. Speaking of, like, yeah, Netflix and whatnot. Yeah. So, that, you remember that Manifest show on NBC? Yeah. I, I remember I sent it to the group. But, like, yeah. Everyone, like, on my Facebook's talking about it and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Sharing memes and stuff or whatever. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and everyone's watching it. It's now number one show or, yeah, number one watch thing on Netflix currently. Yeah. NBC canceled it. I know, After right? Three seasons, dude. I'm just like, it just started picking up steam. And like everyone who's talking about it on Facebook, and I'm just like, it's canceled <laughs> now. Like, I just comment, like, it's canceled. I know. It's like, I mean, I, I thought it was interesting. And then it just like, as it kept going on, I was just like, I don't know. And then I just stopped watching it. I was like, it must have got better or something. I don't know. I, I mean, I thought the daughter was kind of hot. She's like 20. She's like. Because it was like a lost type of shit, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, they like disappeared for like five years and they came back and they had no idea and some of them had powers and some yeah. of them had like some kind of abilities and one dude was like spewing out water, I remember, from one episode. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably end up watching it all once Netflix like announces like we picked it up to make oh, season yeah, yeah, because you know it's going to there, There's a petition it's for like, happen. oh, let's Netflix take it because well, it's at like one, number 10, right? Or number one? It's number one right now. Yeah. On Netflix? Oh, uh, okay. Like, with it being that and just getting canceled, like, obviously Netflix got to do the smart thing, right? Yeah, I know. And they just look at the numbers. Okay, so if, like, 90,000 people watch this, so it's like, I mean, it was like four, it's like 20 bucks now for Netflix. Jesus. Yeah. It's like 90,000 times 20. I don't know. You're the math guy. I can't. 90,000 times 20? I don't know. 180,000, <laughs> I think. No. I have no idea. It's a million. Yeah, well, I'm just I'm just guesstimating. Let's just say a million people watching that show. I mean, you have to. I mean, all over the world, there's yeah. billions of people, and at least a million people brought that thing up to number one, at least on Netflix. So, I mean, they don't have to. I mean, they just what they did with Lucifer, right? Yeah, Lucifer was it ended on Netflix, and they just went to ne- uh, or ended on Fox, and then went to no. Netflix, and they were like, "We're final season of Lucifer," and then they're like, "We're gonna do another season of Lucifer." I know. 
And I've never watched Lucifer. I mean, I watched the first couple episodes, I think. It was okay. I saw like half the first season, I think. And um, it just it was like a pre- procedural show. It was like, you know, Bones or Lawn. Like, it was just yeah. like that type of thing. I guess when it went to Netflix, they said that uh, it, it shifted to diff- something different. Like when it went into so the tone of it, I guess, mm. from procedural to something else. So I never really checked it out or not. That reminds me, I was watching uh, Community the other day. Oh, yeah, Law and Order. Moms. And then it was the Law and Order parody, dun, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. What were you doing? I was making blueberry. <laughs> Why not raisin? Because that wasn't our assignment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to sit here. You guys aren't real cops. <laughs> they go behind the thing. He got you there. You weren't Donald like, Glover. <laughs> Dude, yeah, the fucking yam thing, bro. Like, I'll allow it, counselor, but you stepping on thin ice, <laughs> dude. I know. And when the fucking when the teacher like confronted the military dude, he was Michael like, Ironside comes do in it. out of nowhere. <laughs> he's like, "We're gonna do it." <laughs> he's like, "I was in prison. You were in the military. Both were in uniforms." And the fucking dean is just like, <sighs> "As a man in uniform." <laughs> and uh, Jeffrey. <laughs> And like when they leave, Jeffrey's like uniforms, and he's like, Hoo-hoo. <laughs> "Oh, hi Dude, there, Mister Man." That episode, was, <laughs> that episode was so fucking stupid, but hilarious. Ooh, aren't you a little manny man, man? <laughs> they were both him and uh, yeah, Trey and Abed were trying to both get the last word in, yeah, or whatever with the last. Dum dum. Dude, it was so great. <laughs> it was such a great episode. I was like, "What the fuck?" Oh, I know. I forgot all about that one. <laughs> That's hilarious. Boom, 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 that show's a boom. classic. Anyways, anyways, we got Stargirl. <laughs> the first trailer we got. That's an extended trailer. Mm. Oh, that's one I watched anyways. Yeah. I thought like it was going to be longer than a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, she's fucking hot still, man. God damn. Uh, I'm pretty... I, I pretty... I'm stoked to see what happens in the next season of Supergirl, or not Supergirl, Stargirl, because, uh... Goddamn, the kid got tall as fuck. Yeah. I just, uh, don't know how the quality level of it, since it's going to CW. It looks decent so far, but... Yeah. yeah. Like, in the trailer, it looks decent. And now uh, you get the Green Lantern lady. Oh, yeah, and it's like, wait a minute, that's not how the Green Lantern works. It just doesn't get passed down a bloodline, it goes to whoever is the worthiest in the world. Maybe his fucking daughter was worthy. I don't know. What? <laughs> is that how it works? Beyond the Injustice Society. Who are you? Maybe that's how this one works. I guess, I don't know. I am Green Lantern's daughter. Is she gonna be Diggo's daughter? I don't know. Right? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's in the same universe. Maybe it's a different universe. Not right now, but her name could still be Diggle. Oh yeah, Diggle was on Batwoman, by the way, last week. Wait, what? Diggle was in Batwoman? <laughs> as the Green Lantern? No, not the Green Lantern. But he was there as... But he Diggle. was the Green Lantern at the end of uh, Arrow. He was chosen to be the Green Lantern. So why wasn't he the Green Lantern? That's weird. August 10th, man. Which, I don't know, feels so far away, but it'll be here in like no fucking time. Did you... You liked Stargirl, right? Yeah. I enjoyed yeah. it, too. I thought it was great. I thought it was a good show. <clears throat> I think Teen Titans is the only one I haven't watched yet. Teen Titans, man. Dude, you gotta check that out. Dude. It's on HBO Max. I know. I saw it on there, but speaking of HBO Max and Teen Titans, I watched Teen Titans versus... Teen you watched that instead of the Titans, the rated R version? Well, because I saw the thingy. It was like, Teen Titans, go see Space Jam or whatever. Yeah. I saw that trailer. And then I was like, oh, dude, I never watched Teen Titans go to the movies or whatever. Yeah. And I, I always liked the classic Teen Titans show because it was like serious cartoon in a way. But yeah, and then I watched Teen Titans because Teen Titans go to the movie wasn't on HBO, but I saw Teen Titans go versus We're Teen Titans and I watched that. God, I would eat her butthole so hard. Who's wouldn't you eat? Um, His? <laughs> I'm pretty stuck for this show, but that was when they were still on 
DC Universe, and it was supposed to be like a whole thing, and had a the, big budget and everything. The Wilson brothers running the superhero shows now. Oh, I know, no. Oh yeah, Wilson <laughs> running the superhero worlds. You got Owen Wilson in uh, Marvel, and you got Luke Wilson in uh, DC. And Green Lantern's daughter. I wonder if that means it's gonna have more episodes now or not. I don't know. I hope it doesn't, dude. I keep saying, man, they need to stop making twenty episodes. They just need to make them like fucking ten or something. Or, like, fucking six. Like, they don't need to make them, like, fucking 20 episodes, man. You're just dragging everything out. And you got all these fillers. How about that money? I fucking hate those fillers, man. Oh, yeah. Um, what we were talking about, Titans. You just want to go to Titans? Yeah. All right. Like I said, I haven't watched it, but I mean. Dude, I'm telling you, dude. It man, seems dude. like it's, like, because it was on the DC, whatever happened, and now it's on HBO Max. Well, DC, on the DC Universe, it was rated R. Like, <laughs> fucking yeah. Robin was like, fuck Batman. Like, he came down, he's kicking the shit out of everybody, and he had, like, a bow, like, a metal, yeah. this metal bow staff, and he's kicking so, the shit out of everybody, and he's like, oh my god, there's the boy, boy wonder, where's the bat? He's like, fuck Batman. <laughs> he just fucking kicks the shit out of everybody and kills him. So is this going to show, like, the Joker killing Yeah, Robin that's what it something? looked like, because, uh, right there, the Red Hood, he... This guy, who's the new Robin, um, he, Jason Todd, um, it looks like he's going to get beaten down by the Joker and become the Red Hood through this season. Wait, and then like, last is season... Is that the current Red Robin or whatever? You said Jason Todd's the current one? Yeah, right now. Because like the other Robin left and did his own thing and then end up becoming, last season, he became Nightwing. He has okay. a Nightwing suit on now, which is oh, pretty okay. fucking cool. Um... Yeah, right there at Nightwing. But it's a good show. Oh, fuck yeah. It's got Thad. He plays Hawk. And his chick plays Dove. And hey, that dude's Batman. But he's old. He's it's fucking good, us. dude. It's a fucking great show, dude. You should check it out, dude. It's fucking awesome. I will. I'll it's, probably end up watching it. It's a rated R fucking <clears throat> Disney. It's, not Disney. It's a rated R fucking DC EU. It's like what they want to do in their good, movies, but like, they... It's good, like, overall. Easy, probably, probably easy to binge watch. Yeah. Like, super quick. Yeah, they're only, like, what? I don't know, like, maybe ten episodes each season or something? Yeah. Maybe. Good shit. I'm probably not But it's it. fun, though, because, like, it's like you get, oh, you don't need all the lore because everybody knows Batman, it's Superman, God. all that bullshit, and, and Robin, and all this stuff, but it's like, you got Superboy, you it's got, you know, what's his name, the guy... They can change himself into animals or whatever. I can't Beast remember. Boy? Yeah, Beast Boy. And uh, Starfire, I oh, believe yeah. her name is. It's a fun show. I like it. Um, I may end up rewatching it just to catch myself up because I don't. I think the last season happened like two years ago because Damn. of all COVID. Everything was been de has been delayed a, a year mm. and a half because of COVID and everything. So, I don't know. I am pretty stoked. And uh, Robin bangs Starfire. Yeah. That was a thing in the show. Huh? That was a thing in the cartoon. Oh, so they, like, playing it up that... Yeah, because I remember I, I read something that something in the comics that Robin and Starfire hooked up and stuff like that. Yeah. So, it was kind of, like, staying in line. And in the show that uh, Robin hates, like, he... He quit being Robin because he, he got fed up with Batman, like, just being so self-righteous and, and, and like, he wanted to go off and do his own thing, which is basically just building up him to becoming Nightwing in season two. Like, he just wanted to become his own thing. So, and then in season two, they introduced the old Batman. Hmm. Um, they're Batman in that universe. So, check it out, man. It's pretty dope. All right, the next trailer we got, Till Death, a Megan Fox horror movie. She's so sexy. Happy anniversary, Pumpkin. I'm not even lying, dude. Things have been bad. I just us. watched, oh, um, sorry. I just watched oh, Jennifer's Body, because it was on... I think your first time watching it? Hulu. No, I, oh, okay. my second time watching it since I watched it the first time. Holy shit. Is Megan Fox a fucking bombshell, dude? 
She is just ridiculously hot, dude. It makes no sense how hot she is. And she's with Machine Gun Kelly now, dude. What the fuck? Oh my god, she was so sexy. And then there was a scene in uh, Jennifer's Body, because it was written by Diablo Cody, who did Juno and all that. And um, she made out with uh, Amanda Seyfried. Mm. Like there were, I'm not talking like, like they were like, like licking each other's tongues and shit like that. I'll show it. Hell here. you! I don't know what you think of this movie, Dan. The premise of it seems pretty cool. Like these people were hired to kill. Were they supposed to just kill his wife? I don't know. I don't know. He said the guy, the dot. It looked like she was handcuffed to her husband. Yeah, she is. But then, like, what? They went in and killed the husband, and she. I don't understand. I mean, that's that's what the whole movie's supposed to be about, like what, figuring out what yeah. it is. But like, her husband planned for him to die. Like what? Like he wanted to kill him? I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like maybe he was supposed to be in on it, but these guys wanted to just get whatever's in the safe. Yeah, July second, two thousand twenty-one. A woman left handcuffed to her dead husband as part of a sick revenge plot, unable. To unshackle, she has to survive as two killers arrive to finish her off. Hmm. A revenge plot for who? Like her ex boyfriend or some shit? No, I think it was supposed to be like her husband. Like was they were supposed to kill her, but then I don't know. They probably changed it. And it was like because they, they want whatever's in the safe. Oh, okay. So like her, they wanted to kill her, but then they end up killing him. So they can just say, fuck you, kill both of them, and just take all the money. Yeah. Oh, okay. See what I'm saying now? I see what I'm saying. I see what I'm saying. I see what I'm saying. That makes sense, but that's probably not what it is. <laughs> you know how these fucking movies go. <laughs> like, ah, oh, yeah, I got this figured out. Nope, not even close. Oh, my God. I can't even spell her name. Cypher. Oh. What is it? Cyphered? Cyphered? Seafried. Seafried? Man, the Seafried. Yeah, we're just looking up. Uh, well, is this the whole scene? <laughs> yeah. Mm. She was so hot in this fucking movie, dude. They were both were hot. Like, even her is like a super... She was supposed to be the dumb, nerdy chicken shit. Holy shit, look at those fucking underwear, dude. I want a pair. Oh, my God. I want to eat her ass. There you go again. <laughs> Who's asked when you eat? You tell me you don't want to. Absolutely. Look at that, dude. Like they don't. It, she kisses her, but it's not like a kiss, like a peck. Like she's like tongue. It's like uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar and Selma Blair in Cruel Intentions. They just like tongues. They're stunt doubles. Gives, no, it's them. <laughs> Give them the tongue. There. Yeah. She's like, I don't, should I? Oh. Uh. Oh, 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 oh my god, that's beautiful. Every girl's every girl's been there. I know, right? Well that's the thing though, like, chicks practice on each other's, right? Oh my god. I would fucking I would just want to jerk off in the corner. I really want to join in because <laughs> I don't even think I could get it up because I would just want to jerk off in the corner if I see them two doing this shit. Holy shit, dude. That's hot. I bet every on everybody on set. I was loving it. Like, <laughs> uh, can we re can we run it back? Yeah, we got uh we got to redo that. <laughs> the lighting is off. You got yeah, the lighting was off. Can somebody just tilt the <laughs> lamp a little bit. <laughs> oh my god! It's just when those lips, those tongues start touching, dude. It's hot, dude. And I bet when the tongue came out, the guy, the camera was like, uh. Oh, Yep, there you go. Oh, yes. Yeah. There we fucking go. <laughs> hey, hey, Kevin, your pants are growing. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because, like, she's supposed to be, like, the nerdy, dumb yeah. chick, but she's stupid hot, so it doesn't make any sense. God damn, you and the microphone. At least it's not going. <laughs> Anyways, we're we'll on. Oh yeah, the shrink next door. Is it a movie? Or yeah, an Apple show. Okay, it's a movie. Literally, 
based on a real life thing. Oh, it's a series. Will Ferrell series. I don't know. Yeah, it's a series. It's based off a real guy. Uh, he's actually. It was based off a therapist and a real patient. And apparently, the therapist had was like. He was like a therapist that stars like Gwyneth Paltrow and a couple other people. And apparently he took advantage of most of his fucking clients and shit like that. Um, here, here's his uh, little thing, right? This is actually him. This is the guy that Paul Rudd is supposed to be playing. I'm showing you and you're not even looking. Um, this guy. And this is Will Ferrell's character. Oh, I thought it was going to be the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? You read that for me, because uh, uh, it's going to take me forever to read that. Where? What am I reading? Right here. Dr. Isaac. <sighs> Dr. Isaac Hirschkopf used his influence to gain control of one patient's bank account and hijack his Hamptons home and even talked patients into writing his family into their wills. <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. These people are fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> what? Keep Holy reading. Keep reading. shit. I felt like I was in a cult, long-time patient, Marty Markowitz. The the lead in this movie. Oh, okay. He took over my life very quickly. (laughs) It was one ethical violation after another. (laughs) Markowitz, the millionaire CEO of a fabric company, first saw Ike as Hirschkopf is known in 1981. Yeah. Damn, what the hell? He claims that he had me write and notarize a letter to my sister (laughs) saying, Never call me again. (laughs) What the fuck? He's a CEO and a multimillionaire. I want to see this right now. I know, right? Guess who directed it? How did you manipulate these motherfuckers? Who? Michael Showwater. Who? Michael Showwater. We just talked about his last movie last, uh, last weekend. He directed Why American Summer. Oh, okay. The State and all that stuff. Those funny ass movies. Interesting. And then he's diving into more dramatic, dark comedy stuff now. Uh, we did. We yeah. What movie we just watched that he directed last week? What the fuck was it? Uh, we didn't watch a movie last week. No, it was a trailer that he did because I brought him up. Hold on, I'm looking it up right now. It's gonna bother me. I don't know how to spell his name. Michael Showalter. Eyes of Tammy Faye. The Eyes of Tammy oh, Faye. Okay. That's what it was. The Eyes of Tammy Faye. He's direct, he directed that movie. So he also directed this TV series and also co- like created it with Will Ferrell and Paul Rudd. Which, I mean, he has a long history with Paul Rudd. With the, the Waha American Summer movies and the 10. You know you. And he also did this one really funny romantic comedy. It was like a, a twist on romantic comedies with him and Amy Poehler. And then there was like Combi Smolders. It was fuck. Oh God, what was it? Uh, and this. And then there was us or some shit like that. I can't remember what it was called, but it was fucking hilarious. But uh, yeah, this is literally. This is what happened to this guy. Right here, keep reading. So did he, Ike persuaded him to create the philanthropic Yaron Foundation and draft a new will, leaving his eight-figure fortune to the foundation. <laughs> Which only Ike and his wife <laughs> had access to. <laughs> the hell, dude? A year later. Like, what's wrong in your brain? I know, right? But you are easily manipulated like that. And how do I find people like that? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, give me money. Shit. I'm in the wrong business. Because this guy was like a con artist, He man. became a joint person on his fucking bank account. <laughs> right? What the hell? Who fuck does that? A year later in 1985... Two point five million dollars Swiss bank account? Holy shit, dude. That's funny as fuck. God damn. Oh wait, was it uh he also <laughs> allegedly or he also yeah, He had alleged- him change his will to leave the Hamptons to the the shrink's wife. <laughs> no. <laughs> Becky loves Southampton property, so I think it's only right you leave the property to her, Ike Jesus. allegedly told. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. Let's do it. All right. Like people, let me tell you about my best friend. Tell me about yourself. I wonder if they're going to have that scene fine. where they recreate that photo. How's the situation oh, yeah. With your sister? Are they playing Billy Joel? Fine. I don't care what you think. I'm all right. Dun, dun, dun. It's oh, also the oh, Bosom okay. Buddies song. The fabric company. You know what word I'm getting a little tired of hearing from That's you, That's hilarious as fuck, dude. 
the F word. The F word. Everything's fine. I am all right. Can't go wrong fine. with Billy Joel, man. You're a nice guy. Thing. I'm not gonna let anyone. Leave me alone. You. Therapy works. It's empowering. Jersey boy it's himself. I feel like oh, I'm on drugs. I don't have that platoon. I mean, I've never taken so I have to use that website. I mean, I oh, yeah. This is what drugs feel like. <laughs> this is what drugs feel like. I don't even know what drugs feel like. Without trust, we have nothing. I can trust you. I trust you completely. I do believe you have just had what we head shrinkers call a breakthrough. <laughs> Are you straight Jewish? Jesus and we're out of time. Oh. <laughs> I know. It's straight Jew. The, the shrink next door. It's playing on those things of like, uh, man, I don't know if you are, but I was. I was hooked on like those ID like murder things like mm. the murderer next door or yeah. the, 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 the killer next door type shit. And that's kind of like what it's kind of playing on a little bit is like the shrink next door like type thing. <clears throat> I'm interested. Already, it's got Paul Rudd, Will Ferrell. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it. Then it says Michael Showalter directing the whole series. I'm like, all right, definitely in. <laughs> all right, that's gonna wrap us up this week. Hit us up on iTunes or download and subscribe to us and. Any other podcast app out there. Also, go to our website, antmntpop.com, for all of our other links and our, our email that you can get in contact with us. What is our Twitter? At ENTMNTPOP. Peace, bitches. <laughs>